Yo, check this out, maniacs. Magic spoon cereal. Yo, dudes, I'm going to try this stuff out. But for real, this is a, a cereal that I've heard of, heard about for a long time. I've heard numerous ads on a lot of podcasts over the years, and I've always wanted to try it. And previously, it was only available online. You had to uh, order it online, and I think the minimum order was like three boxes at one time. And I always said to myself, how do I know if I like it? I don't want to buy three at one time. I want to buy one at one time. Well, I recently saw it at, I believe I got it at Walmart. And I bought one box, and I tried it. And here's that video, maniacs. All right, let's give this a try. It's very crunchy. Tastes similar to Fruit Loops, just not nearly as sweet, which could be a good thing or a bad thing. It's not bad. Kind of makes me want Fruit Loops even more because now I'm craving a slightly sweeter taste in my mouth. But for a zero sugar product, they look at the fine print, it's not zero carbs. It's not bad. If you're looking for a low sugar substitute to Fruit Loops, this is probably a good choice. But I must point out, it is on the pricey side. So you got to weigh that option as well. But if money is not an object for you, then eat up and enjoy. But um, ignoring the price, I think the taste was pretty decent. I'm going to give it an 8 out of 10. Let's say uh, real Fruit Loops would be a 10 out of 10. This is an 8 out of 10. So what does that tell you? It's, it's good, just not as good as traditional, quote-unquote, real Fruit Loops. So if you don't mind shelling out a few extra bucks, give it a try. And tell me what you th think of it in the comment section. Well, after eating some more of it, I've had one full bowl and maybe half a bowl after that. Still working on that second half bowl. But I don't know how well the camera will pick this up. I'm looking in the box right now and there's not that much left. So, seven ounces here. It's kind of a skinny box. So that's another, another observation I just noticed is that it's expensive and on top of that, the box is pretty small. So, taste-wise, I'm giving it an 8 out of 10. But overall, when you consider the price and how much they give you, I'm going to drop that down to a 6.8 out of 10. Because that's kind of disappointing. It's the amount you pay and the amount you get. Eh. The taste is decent, though. I'm going to give them that. So, if you only care about the taste... For a low sugar cereal, don't make me laugh. Then, this is why we edit it. Then, it's good. But, if you're worried about how much you're getting for your dollar, maybe not so good. So to recap, 8 out of 10 for taste, 6.8 out of 10 overall when you consider the value you're getting on your dollar spent. That's all for now.